Well, I'm standing here now with firefighter Sue Martin. Sue, welcome. Thank you, Bill. Good to be here. Uh, it's good. It. It's good to have you here. Uh, Sue's going to talk about a program that has been around for a number of years and becoming more and more popular, and it's a treat for a lot of the kids. And it's part of the, uh, you know, uh, education on fire safety for the month of October, and a, an extension of this open house here as well. Sue, so tell everybody what uh, the fire department does. So we offer this program for kids in the community, and they fill out, they draw a map of their house. On the map, they draw two ways out. They draw their meeting place, they draw their smoke detectors, they put it on this form, this paper, fill out the information on the back, and then they submit it in a box that's in the permit room in the fire department. And when, uh, uh, at Sunday, uh, October 25th at 8 o'clock, we're going to pull the box in, we'll look through them all, and we pick a winner to get a ride to school in a fire truck. And um, so what we do, we coordinate with the, with the teacher, we coordinate with the school, and we coordinate with the parents. And for the winter, we will bring the fire truck to their house. And it's a great photo opportunity. It's really amazing. So we, we bring them to the house, we pick them up. Sometimes they bring a sibling, sometimes they bring a friend. We drive them to school. Once we get in the parking lot of the school, we turn the lights on and the sirens on in the student's classroom is outside waiting for them. Then we get a picture of the class, everybody together, and then they go on. Obviously, the point behind this, we really need kids to start looking at their meeting places. We need them to start thinking about two ways out. Uh, the, the fire truck ride is just the incentive we have for, for families to go home and start thinking about these things. Because if we pull up to a house and it's on fire, and everybody's out at a meeting place, makes our job safer, because now we don't have to go in and look for somebody if we know everybody's out. And it's, it's, um, it's just a big part of the fire prevention. And I know a lot of families have those meeting places, but there's a lot that they don't or they forget, and we go into the schools and ask them, and this just really encourages them with a really, really good incentive at the end. So. Well, that's excellent. Now, let me ask you, what ages? So, what we do, it's not really a known fact because we always say there's a winner, but the reality is we pick a winner from each of the elementary schools. So there's one winner in each of the elementary schools and then we pick one preschool. And so there's four winners all together. There's four shifts, each shift takes a winner and we do it, uh, it usually ends up by the, time we, by the time we pick the winners and coordinate with the schools, it's usually about mid-November that the event takes place. So, um, you know, I, I, we've had a lot of in entries some year, some years, other years, not as many. So your odds are great. But at the end of the day, really, the purpose is for them to go in and to talk to their families about how to keep themselves safe and their families safe in the event of an emergency. 